Is this thing on? Okay, we are live and we are trading. That's right, another in our series of crypto sector analytics live on video. So yesterday, if you look at yesterday's blog post, you'll see that we did an in-depth analysis of the crypto privacy sector. And we looked at Monero, Verge, Dash, and Zcash. So today we're going to go into technical analysis. And this is just a step-by-step -step recipe. Okay, trading is it's just a recipe. You start, you, by, you pick a sector. So we have the crypto privacy sector. And then we identify the coins within that sector that are seem to be moving. And these coins have all made serious moves in the past month, as you can see on the chart. And you compare them side by side. And then you look at the technical, first you look at the fundamentals of each coin. And we looked at the fundamentals yesterday. And go back to that blog post and review those before we go on to the technical. Now today we're going to focus on Verge. And the reason we're focusing on Verge is because it made a huge move in the past month. It, it's just, uh, you know, 25, I think it was 25x. Let's just see here, going back to just beginning of December here, Verge was at 0 0.006, so that six tenths of a cent and is up to now about 16 cents. So that is, uh, yeah, well, more than 25, 30 uh, X, 30 times just in, the, in this month. So a huge move. And we're going to look at the technical analysis. After we look at the fundamentals and decide what we want to invest in, the technical analysis, it just gives us chart patterns of when and where and what to do. So in other words, when to buy, when to sell, and which one to do at the right time. So that's what technical analysis is all about. So today we're going to look at Chaikin money flow. And it's an oscillator, which is just a mathematical formula that we're applying to price. Everybody looks at the price. So everyone, you know, they get up in the morning and they say, oh, look at this. Verge made a move today or, or Ethereum made a move or Monero or Dash made a move today. But everyone's looking at price. Okay, so we're, we're going beyond that and we're going to look at some mathematical constructs that to some degree are based on price but will give us a better idea of exactly when to enter the market and when to exit or when are good times to enter and exit. So the, what is the Chaikin money flow formula? All right, the thing about the Chaikin money flow formula is first you got to understand what we're looking at. We look at a chart of candlesticks. Now we're going to, uh, let's move over to our chart of Verge, isolating Verge. And then once we get that up, we're looking at, well, let's take this stuff down so we don't want to show you all our trading secrets. Okay, so now we're looking at a candlestick chart and you can see that the candlesticks are red or green, okay, and you can probably figure it out by now that green means that the price went up that day and red means the price went down that day. But the candle has a structure that is significant, okay? The high is the very high point of this upper shadow. The, in a candle where it closes higher than it opens, in other words, it went up, the open is down here. And the close is up here. And then this part that's filled in is called the body. And then the lower shadow extends to the low of the day. And the same thing for a day when the, when the price goes down. The open is up here. The close is down here. The lower shadow, again, tells you how low it went that day. And the high shadow tells you how high it went that day. So that's how you read a candlestick chart. Now, the shake in money flow uh, formula is based on that concept. And you don't have to memorize all this, but this is just what it, what it, uh, how it's figured out. And it says here, close minus low minus high minus close divided by high minus low. And what that means is it compares how close the high 
is to the open or close and the low is to the open or close versus the whole range of the of the bar so if looking at back at the bars if the close is if the hot close is high close to the high then that means it's a very positive for the formula comes out very positive if the close is very close to the low on the other hand that means the flow of that day is very negative. And the advantage of this oscillator, which you see in blue here in the lower window, is that it tells you which way the money is flowing even when the price doesn't necessarily tell you that. So it can show, it can tell you exactly which way the money is flowing, whether it's flowing into or out of the currency even if the price is moving the other way. And I'll give you an example of that. And this is a really, what's the really cool thing about the shake and money flow is that, for example, we, we talked about how Verge made a big move. Now let's just watch, see what was happening. Uh, if you're watching Verge and you were, you were watching it during that time it was making a big move, here's a, a period where it dropped all the way down to 0.06 cents. Okay, I mean six cents on December 22nd. Okay, so it dropped all the way down to six cents on December 22nd. And you can see the price was dropping here all the way from about uh, the 20th. So for about two days, the price was dropping. And these bars are six hours long. So it, they're just, um, uh, so four of them would be a day. So the price was dropping from the 20th to the 22nd, and as the price was dropping, the check in money flow was rising. You know, how, how did, why is that? And the reason is, if you look at these candles individually, you can see that even though the price was going down overall, it was closing closer and closer to its high. See how, See, like in this bar right here, it closed close to its high, even though the price was way down during the day, it closed close to its high. That means money was flowing into the cryptocurrency. And if you had taken that signal from this positive money flow on or around this time, December 22nd, at six cents, you would have rode that puppy all the way up to 30 cents, which is where the money flow indicator peaked. And then it started dropping. And then once it started dropping, you could say, okay, well now, you know, it's, it's run up and now we're going to get out. And that was, a, would have been a good move because if you look at the subsequent decline here, this is the decline in the money flow. If you, if you look at the decline in the money flow that from that point on, you can compare that to this decline in price that went all the way down from about, what's the high here, 30 cents to a low of 11 cents. And so you could have wrote it up from six cents to 30 cents, five times your money, and then seeing the oscillator turn right here and got out while it dropped again to all the way down to 11 cents. And now, even though the price has recovered somewhat, it's still not, Okay, so even though the price has recovered somewhat, you can see the money flow oscillator is still dropping. So this is still going down. Okay, this is still going down. Even though the price is rising. So price has come up a little bit from 11 cents to 16 cents, but in this case, it's not indicating positive money flow. It's indicating negative money flow down here where the blue arrow is. So you can see how money flow can help you identify trends in the market 
that other people don't see. Okay, when people are just looking at the price, they're thinking, okay, it's going up, it's going down. But when you add the money flow indicator in there and you look at where it diverges from the price, you can make predictions about the technical patterns that are indicating where to get into and where to get out of the market. So this is an awesome divergence example, an awesome example of divergence where price was dropping while money flow was positive and rising. And that would have been, again, after taking step one, fundamental analysis of analyzing the coins in the crypto privacy sector, okay, then you pick a coin and look at the technical aspects and see where to enter and exit the market. And that's the step-by-step -step process that we go through. It's not a secret. It's, it's not magic. It's, it's math, really, is what it is. It's, it's mathematical. So, uh, again, looking at uh, Verge from, the standpoint, from a technical standpoint, it was third in market cap within the sector we're looking at. So it wasn't uh, the big leader, but it was, it was making a significant move. So following it technically would have been very profitable. And going back to the chart, you can see that divergence where the price was dropping and then the money flow was positive and rising at the same time. And price dropped all the way to six cents and then rose to 30 cents. So it also it not, not only would have given you an entry, but also an exit point to get your money out and then possibly get back in at a lower price. So that's how you follow these coins once you identify your sector and the particular coins that have the fundamentals that interest you. And then focus on the technical and mathematical aspects. And this has been live crypto sector trading analysis. Digital Asset University, and hopefully we've given you some great information today that you can add to your arsenal and improve your trading in cryptocurrency sectors.